Okay, so the first strategy we're going to look at is, quite obviously, Creeping Barrage. Uh, this was a, an advanced strategy used by the generals, who worked out that rather than simply uh, having the artillery, which is here, obviously, firing on the trench over here constantly and then stopping um, so that these little guys would get up, assuming that everyone's dead, um, and walk up and get smashed by a machine gun, uh, what they would do is they would fire deliberately, they would fire too short to give cover for these guys. So while, while this is still firing here, these guys would get up and start walking at a, a, a certain pace, and this would gradually increase the pace in which it is firing or, sorry, the, the distance in which it's firing, so that these guys would have cover the whole time. And the enemy is still hiding in, in its trench from the barrage. You can't see anything at first, and then it's getting closer, then it's on top of them, and theoretically, what happens is these guys just keep walking, not getting smashed by a machine gun, because no one's on it, and then take the trench. Make sure they've got the tr trench, while the reserves over here, the other trenches, can't get to them, because the barrage has moved on. Then they would take and hold that trench and these guys over here would stop. So creeping barrage was used kind of as a coordinated, uh, one of the first times it come as a coordinated attack using the artillery and the, uh, the troops in constant communication with each other uh, as to where they were. It was, it was risky but it worked very well and it allowed um, uh, another strategy to be used, which was rather than going for a huge breakout strategy where you'd try and smash through the trenches and just go, 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 which they tried to do for a long time, this was bite and hold. In other words, they'd take a small amount of territory and make sure they kept it, and then do the same thing again and again and again.